Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Today's video, I'm going to show you why your averages might not be calculating correctly. And it has to do with aggregate, how Tableau handles aggregate functions. Before I do that, I want to thank my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys. Now let's get on to the video. Here's the data that we've got. We've got a counties and we've got city and we have some value. What that value is isn't important. So I'm going to actually get rid of the city and I'm going to change this now to show aggregate measures. And this is min. Most of them comes, the default I think is sum, but where we're one focusing on is average. And so we've got an average here. Let me show you really quick. I'm going to pull up Excel. I do this a lot with when I'm talking about you know, trying to calculate, make sure that the numbers are calculating correctly. I highlight these all up. And I don't know if you can see down here that the average is 92.5. The grand total here is 98.7. So you say, why are they different? Well, the reason they're different is that on these aggregate functions, Tableau isn't really considering the breakouts that you have. It's looking at all the underlying data. So in this case, it's looking at all the, the county and city data and giving you a total average for all of those items. Oops, sorry. 98.7. And the reason you don't see that with the sum is because if you're summing up all the Grays Harbor, King County, Pierce County, Snohomish County, it's the same thing as if you would have highlighted all of these and added them together. Same thing with minimum. If you only pulled over one, the lowest value, the lowest value in any one of these counties is going to be the lowest value for the whole set. So it's only with averages that you run into this problem. What if you want to show get the average of all the counties. We're going to have to create a, a calculated field and we're just going to call this county average and we're going to have to use a uh, fixed function, an LOD function, level of detail. We're going to make this a little bit bigger and we're saying fixed and we want to be, have it fixed on the county and we're going to do average of value. If you haven't used fixed functions before, what's really important is that this is going to look across the entire data set, and the only thing it's going to consider in this case is county. It's going to give you an average at the county level. If you had other filters up here, you would want to apply those into this fixed section. If you had, for example, if you were filtering by year, or if you were filtering by state, if you had more dimensions, you might want to apply those. Well, let's just bring the county average over. We're just going to double click it so it gets added. And so now you can look and you can see that the default here was sum. What it's doing is at the this is calculating it at the average at the county level. You can see that here but the total aggregation is being summed up and that's why it's adding it all together. So we need to come here, we'll change this to average, and now we're gonna get that 92.5 that we expected to get over here, the 92.5, right? So if you're looking for just the average of the county's averages, this is how you do it. You do a fixed function so it ignores all the, other, um, all the other dimensions that are being hidden here that aren't visible. Whereas Tableau, if you don't, it considers all the data. This considers it at an aggregate level. I'm just going to bring over the city real quick so you can see what's happening. And you can see here at the, city at the county level there's an average. King County there's an average. Pierce and Snohomish is all averages and when it gets all brought together Tableau is just saying okay well give me the average of all the the county averages. Hope that helps. This is something that I still struggle with you know as I'm going through it it's like oh I forgot about that. Hope that helps you. See you next time.
Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.